Right then, so we can make the vectors bigger. So it says a vector kx is parallel to x and has a magnitude k. So that x should be in the line drip. Yeah. And if it's negative, if k is negative, it goes the opposite direction. And just a reminder that parallel vectors will always be multiples of each other. It's not going in the opposite direction. Right, so 2a then. It's two lots of 3, 2. So all I do is multiply the 2 into it. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. So instead of having a vector which goes right, 3 across 2 up, I've now got the vector twice as far now. So hence it's twice as far. Minus 3b, so minus 3 lots of um, minus 2, 1. So that's going to be minus 3 times minus 2, which is going to be multiplied by both together, and then minus 3 times plus 1. So 6 and minus 3. There. Now this does 2a minus 3b. So I guess it's easier to think of it because I've got the 2a as one block and the minus and the minus 3b as another block. It's probably worth thinking of it as 2a plus a minus 3b. So 2a is 6, 4, minus 3b is 6 minus 3. So it gives me 12, 1 there. Uh, now, a vector parallel to it just has to be a multiple of it. It doesn't matter what it is, you can just double it. So a vector parallel to it could be 24, 2. Or it could be that you've multiplied it by 10. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's a multiple of the vector, that's fine. Uh, so it says, which of these vectors are parallel to B? What was B? So B is minus 2, 1. So if you think of that, I can see the 4 as being minus 2 times 2. And I can see the, the minus 2 as being minus 2 times 1. So that's minus 2 lots of minus 2, 1. So that one must be parallel because it's a multiple. Uh, 6i, 2j. So I'm just going to write it like that. 6i minus 2. Now I can, if you think about it, I'd have to do minus 2 times 3, uh, sorry, minus 3 to give me a 6. But then if I did 1 times minus 3, that would be minus 3, so that doesn't work. Uh, I said that was minus 1 and a half. So I can see that as being minus 2 times by a half. So that gives me minus 1, so that's okay. And then 1 times by a half is a half, so that's okay. So that one's definitely parallel. That one's definitely parallel, but that one isn't. Uh, minus 50, 100, so I can see the minus 50 as being minus 2 times 25 is minus 50. But then 1 times 25 would be 25. Because, because you see it doubling there, you probably think it's right, but it's the wrong way around, so that one doesn't work. Yeah. So there's one for you to do. So pause it, have a go, and see what we get. There we go. So a question for you. Is that in the right place, that question for you? Who knows? So we're talking for four minutes, I'll have to double check what I've got. Right, I'll just quickly do this one then. So it says, given that C is 3i plus 4j, so C is 3, 4, D is 1 minus 2, and it says that find if lambda, if C plus lambda D is parallel to i plus j. Right. So i plus j is just 1, 1. Right, so what's C plus lambda D then? Yeah. Um, 
So C plus lambda lots of D would be 3, 4 plus lambda times by 1 minus 2. So C plus lambda D would be 3 plus lambda 4 minus 2 lambda. Right, now it's going to be parallel to to 1, 1 but it's going to be a multiple of it. So we're going to have it equal to a multiple of it. So I'm going to put it equal to k lots of 1, 1. So k is just a constant. So what I'm saying is I'm going to put them equal to it. So my 3 plus lambda and my 4 minus 2 lambda is going to be equal to k, k. Because what I want is just a number. So I've actually got uh, there. Suddenly, this has just got really, really hard. So, if I look in the i direction, the top line, I've got 3 plus lambda is k. So, if I rewrite that, I don't know what I need to do. J is 4 minus 2 lambda is k. You put them equal to each other. So, 3 plus lambda is 4 minus 2 lambda. So, 3 lambda is 1. So lambda is a third there. So if I multiply it by a third, I'm all right. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Does he want the lambda? Yeah, he doesn't want the decay, does it? That's the lambda. Right, so if we look on the next page, now something new, so I'm going to stop there. That's the magnitude and the direction of it. See what time we're on. I'm going to stop actually recording. Okay, see you later.